Hi friends. Have you ever read a book or maybe seen a movie where somebody puts a message in a bottle? So maybe they're stranded on a, an island and they're trying to get rescued. They're trying to put out a plea for help. Or maybe it's just an experiment. They're just curious to see how the waves and the wind and um, of the ocean would affect how far the, the bottle got. I was just reading a true story about a man named Harold Myers who went on a cruise in the Caribbean. And when he was on his trip, he took three bottles and he wrote um, a message on a piece of paper, his name and address, and he put them into the three bottles. He also included a dollar bill so that if anybody found the bottle, they could then send the message back and he would know where the bottles um, were retrieved. So then he put corks in the bottles and he sealed them up with wax and he threw them over the side of the ship into the ocean. Of course, his friends all laughed at him and said that he might as well have just thrown his money uh, into the ocean. Well, what happened was kind of cool. Of the three bottles that he threw in, two of them were returned to him um, with a reply from the person who found it. Two out of the three. So that's kind of amazing. Harold himself said, to tell the truth, I was shocked. I guess I never really expected to hear from anybody at all. So I'm thinking, what if we use this method to spread the message of Jesus all around the world? We could put uh, John 3.16 on a piece of paper. You all know John 3.16. That's the one that goes, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So we could write that on a piece of paper, put them in bottles, put them out in the ocean, maybe the bay, maybe Bush River, and spread the word of Jesus all around the world. Now does that sound like a good plan to you? Well, you tell the truth, I don't think this sounds like a very effective plan. I don't think it would get the message of God's love to many people. Um, so what would be a good way to spread the word of God's love to everyone? to spread it around the world. Well, Jesus told his disciples how he wanted it done. Uh, and it was a plan that is as good today as it was then. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Jesus wants us to tell everyone about his love for them and to share that with them what he has taught us in the Bible. He didn't say put a message in a bottle. He said go and make disciples. But making disciples can feel a little daunting, especially if you're a kid or maybe you're shy. How can we spread a message? Well, one way is to show the message by example. I once heard somebody say that even just getting in your car to go to church on Sunday mornings lets your neighbors know what is important to you. Shout out to Joy Payne. Uh, last week we talked about being Christ-like. Our example is a great way to show the world around us the Christ within us. Another way to spread the word is to invite friends to stream our church service or to come to our church service in person. Making disciples doesn't have to be complicated. Let us pray. Dear Father, help us obey the command that you gave us to go and make disciples in Jesus' name. Amen.